Hey, hey, hey. So I said I was going to make a video about how to um, update your project to uh, get it get ready for URP. So I guess I'm sh just going to do that. Um, one thing I want to say first is just uh, about the, uh, the Unity version um, confusion that, that's been going around. So I don't know if you remember, but like we, we were using 2019.4, right? And then they announced that they were going to change to um, 2020.3.9 and that we needed to upgrade for that. Um, but then there was a new announcement saying, hey, we're going to actually move to URP. So if you haven't yet updated your projects to 2020.3.9, you don't have to do that until the move to URP. So that being said, that means that both of those versions, 2019.4 and 2023.9, do work uh, up until September when they move to URP for the default rendering pipeline. So they still work for that. Um, and for when you now that you want to update your projects and get ready uh, for September, that version is 2020.3.9 uh, that you want to be using for that, for URP. All right, I hope that clears that up. Um, so let's just uh, jump into it. First of all, we got to install the uploader that is made for URP version. Um, so let's, I'm using the Microsoft uh, Mixed Reality Feature tool here. Let's do that. Let's find our project. I'm just gonna do a simple project that I have set up. Uh, as you see, I'm using, this one is already made for 2020.3.9, but using the default rendering pipeline. I'm not gonna cover the whole thing about up, upgrading your project from 2019.4. There's already videos about that if you go to, um, the uploader channel on Discord. So yeah. So just so you know, this is where I'm what I'm working from. Well, let's do that. Discover features. As you can see, it's a bit different here now. It used to be, I think at the top here, it used to be like an alt space thing or, or something. Or maybe it was under mixed reality toolkit. Yeah, I think it was here. But now uh, the alt space uploader is under other features. So click that. And as you can see here, here you have the ones, the ones that go up to uh, 0 0.9.4, which is for the one, uh, you know, the version that everyone's on now that's working up until September. So this is what you want to be using if you want to make some changes, you know, that, that people, you know, that you want to show people for now. But the ones that we're going to be focusing on today, today for the URP um, upgrade is these two here. So, well, this one, <laughs> because it's the latest as of this date. So that's 2.2.1. So let's, uh, let's pick that. If, if those two don't show up for you, by the way, uh, click the little refresh button here and it should fetch the updates. So select the, whatever the latest one is for you, select that. As long as it's two point something, because that's for the URP uh, version. And then select it here, get features, uh, import, and uh, approve. And there you have it, Unity project updated. So now you want to open your Unity Hub or just your project, doesn't matter. Make sure that your, uh, your Unity version that your project uses is 2020.3.9. Uh, and uh, there you go, just uh, click to open it. Now we might go through some processes. Uh, I mean, it shouldn't really, I don't think, if you already come from 2020.3.9, it shouldn't do too much. Um, but it might, I'm not 100% I'm not sure on that. So it might take a while depending on your project size. I'm just gonna pause it for now and come back. All right, we are, we are back and uh, we have our um, project open. So as you can see, there's not basically any changes. Let me just uh, disable the grid here because that's gonna annoy me. There we go. Um, there's not too many changes, uh, you know, right off the bat. But once, so the uploader itself uh, does install URP automatically for you. So you just have to open it up for it to start doing that. So, you know, we just go here. And this one is a bit different now, as you can see, but you know, you can probably understand what it does. So let's open the template. And it will go through a couple of things for you here. Um, you know, setting up the URP uh, files and converting probably your textures a little bit. So, it might take a while again, so I'm just gonna pause it. All right, we are, we are back. And as you can see, you know, things don't look 
great. <laughs> Uh, first of all, if you go to your console, if you have the same errors that I have, um, it might not look like this for you, but because I don't have PowerShell, uh, what the uploader is trying to do is trying to convert my materials uh, into um, URP supported materials or shaders. So that's why it's pink. If it's pink for you, that's, that's why. It's because the default materials, if that's what you've been using, um, from the standard default rendering pipeline, they don't work after it has been changed to URP. So the uploader, uh, when you open it up, tries to convert it for you automatically by using PowerShell. But since I don't have that, and if you don't have that, that's okay. We can do that ourselves. It's just a batch process. It's one, it's a couple of clicks, so that's not a problem. Just clear this out. So like I said, if it's still pink for you, go to edit, um, render pipeline, universal render pipeline and here you have two options uh, upgrade project materials to universal rp materials or selected materials now i mean if you have i don't know why you would use this i mean you might want to use this if you want to do something with your own shaders you know instead of that trying to convert it it won't if you have custom shaders that they're not going to be able to be converted like this you would have to do that yourself manually in whatever way that you made that shader you know if you made it with um Amplify shader, for, for instance, you would have to, you know, go in there and, and manually make it uh, compatible with URP. But let's just select, you know, all materials here. Proceed. And there you have it. As you can see, there's some pink left here. That is because the, uh, the plants that I made, I'm using my own custom shader for those. So they're not going to work. I would have to go into uh, my shader file and change that up a little bit. So we can, but you can just ignore that. I'm just gonna go in here and just select these uh, other plant, plant. I'm just gonna select all these plants <laughs> and disable them for now. Just so we don't have to worry about them. All right. So one thing that might look different to you um, in, your, in your scene right off the bat is the um, uh, kind of the colors or the gradients and stuff like that because it is now running in linear color space which is just a way that it calculates um, gradients uh, more or less so um, it's a it's a better representation of what we see in real life so that that might look a bit different to you but that's not what this uh, video is about so let's just ignore that let me just go ahead and sign in here and i'll come back all right i went and signed in um so as you can see, probably right away is that it's a bit different now. Uh, it might look a bit alien to you. I'm going to go through all this. So let's see what we can uh, find here. Um, first of all, uh, this is where you select your template. Um, kind of like we did previously, the template that you have on the website that you have on Altspace. This is where you select that. Uh, after you selected it, you can also open it directly. So that opens the browser for you, goes into uh, the template on the website for you. So that's pretty handy. You can also do the same here, create a new template, and it just launches you into that on the website. Uh, re refresh template list, in case you did create a new one, you want to refresh it, so it shows up here. Now, as you can see, it says choose a Unity file. This is because this version of the uploader introduced a batching process so you can have different scene files for different platforms that you want to upload to um, which is actually pretty handy if you have some changes maybe you have uh, you know the pc platform has higher i don't know detailed meshes or something like that in your scene so you can you can set it up like that and uh, the first thing you want to do is select a scene file so i'm going to go ahead and do that going to assets in your project folder scenes and i'm just going to use the art gallery scene file. It's the same as we have open right here. Um, now, let me turn on advanced asset management right here. You don't have to do that. If you do it just like this, it works basically how it did before. You can choose what you want to upload to here. You know, if you just want to start out trying to test on Windows, that's fine. You can do it like this. But let's turn on these, uh, this, this option right here. Now, as you can see, this is where it introduces the bundles uh, or the, uh, the bundles of the bundles, I should say. <laughs> um, 
Then here you can see if you select use per platform assets. Here you can set up so that this scene that we have open right here, right now, all of this in the background here, let's say this is only the one that I want to use for Android. Okay. Now let's say I want to have another one for PC, uh, PC and Mac. I can click this plus button right here and open a different scene. If I made one, uh, I mean, I, I can pick one, I guess, just go to scenes, sample scene. Let's say this one is built for, again, click on use per platform assets. So this, this one is for Windows and Mac, let's say. So now that I have these two set up, when I have, when I'm building for all three of them, right down here, I've selected all three of them, it will choose, you know, the, the Android, um, scene it will use will be the one that I've selected up here. So we will use that one. And the other two will it will use this scene right here when you build and upload. So respectively it will choose which one is, is fitted. Um so there's a couple of things here. So if let's say I only build for Android like this. It will only you know fetch this scene bundle and upload that. Uh, I think it's the same as if I do this and I disable this one, it says include bundle and build. If I disable this and I have all three of these selected, it will only, you know, upload this one for Android. Even though you have these other ones selected, there's no bundle for it. So I, I'm pretty sure it just ignores that. So yeah, this is, this is one way you can set up bundles. You can have another one for Mac, for instance. Um, but you would have to do this. But anyway, let's just not do that for now. Oh, I got an error. Let's see what that is. Um, oh, it's because I closed the, uh, okay, so that's probably like a, a UI error for someone to take a look at right there. But you can ignore that. It's just because I closed the bundle that I had open. Uh, what else do we have? Well, we have auto manage layers. For now, that is, I think it's defaulted to off uh, right now. So that's nice. You can select and turn that on if you wanted to set up the nav mesh layers for you. Um, and down here, it's a bit different. We have a button that says test build, and one that says uh, build and upload. This one we're familiar with. Test build is the same as the build button, as far as I can tell. It creates a zip file for you. It stores it uh, in a different location. Uh, we can go ahead and just build for it and see what happens. Let me just uh, do a Windows version here, like this. I can also do this, probably, and just set it to Windows like this. Um, we can do it like this. There we go. So this is more of what we're used to. Let's just build for... Oh, oh I see. Okay, you cannot uh, test it unless you select Advanced Asset Management. Good to know. All right. We have to turn that on then. Let's just... Uh, do a test build and, and see what happens if we get any errors and I'll cover that. I'll, I'll come back to you. All right, you have to um, save your scene, of course, because now we're using scene files. So it's warning you that if you made any changes and you want that to be included in the scene file, uh, make sure to save it. Let's do that. And uh, I'll be right back. By the way, it will turn blue or cyan for you, so don't worry about that, it's normal. Um, yeah, just wanted to let you know that. All right, it should be ready here soon. There we go, build complete. Let's check the console, it's just nice to check. Right, I do get these uh, for anything that's, um, any, any asset that's not on the uh, nav mesh layer, even if you have auto manage layers turned off, it gives you a warning about, uh, about those. Uh, you can just ignore them. It's just telling you that, hey, uh, you know, it's not on a nav mesh layer, but proceeding with no change. So yeah, you know, you can just ignore that, clear it. So now that we did the test build, if you go to your project folder, um, go to assets, all space uploader, temp, <laughs> export, there it is. So there's the zip file that I created for you. And you know, you can see at least, you know, what the size is of it and, and that's all all good but you don't need this anymore uh you don't need to use the the website uploader i don't even know if it works with a urp but anyway 
So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for that. Um, I think that's, I think I covered most of it, to be honest with you. Um, yeah. So, you know, once you've tested it, everything works, you don't get too many errors. You can just build and upload it. You, you know, choose all of these if you want to. Set it up, like I said. All, all up to you. If you do get any errors, though, uh, let me know and I'll see if I can cover them in a future video. I'll probably make this video a bit more... <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> I'll probably make it more uh, streamlined, you know, eventually. Right now, I just wanted to get a video out there quickly, so it's, it's a bit rough around the edges, but hopefully it does help someone uh, who might have some issues with this. Um, let me just think here if I did forget anything. Well, I think that's pretty much it, actually. Um, I was just looking at the project settings just to see, um, and as you can tell, it's now set to linear color space, so that's good. Um, there are a couple of things that are different if you're used to going in here and changing some quality settings yourself and graphic settings and stuff. As you can see, it's, it doesn't look the same as in the default render pipeline. Uh, it's because it's using this file here for... Uh, if you click it, you can see it's using that for some settings. Um, but I'm not going to go into that right now. It's still something I have to look at myself. But yeah, that is pretty much it. Hopefully this is helpful for some of you guys. So um, I'll, I'll see you later.